Welcome to day 12 of my 30 day animation challenge. In May of 2023, I posted this video tutorial on TikTok, not expecting it to go as viral as it did. Over 8 million views later and several tutorials, I wanted to now update this to include a little animation detail as well. In today's tutorial, I'm again going to use this layered text effect, including the ink splash detail, but instead we also have this floral detail in the background and a little drop animation at the beginning too, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. We need to start with our background, so we're going to go to elements and we're going to type in daisy floral seamless pattern. and it will bring up lots of different effects inside the graphics section of elements. And I'm just going to choose this white daisy background and enlarge it so that it covers the whole area of the template. We then need to grab our text and just selecting the word heading and I'll change it to the wording we want, which is bloom. And then select our text to change it to the right font, which is shirtland. Once we have the text placed in the middle, I'm just going to adjust the letter spacing ever so slightly to bring it a wee bit closer together. You'll see that I have guides going across the centre of my page. If you want to use them, we can do this by selecting settings and show rulers and guides. Then we can just draw a ruler in from the top and to the left hand side to place them exactly where we want them. We're going to copy the bloom word so that we have a second version. This one we are going to change the colour to white and use effects to make it just the hollow or outline and reduce the thickness down a bit for this too. We'll then place it exactly on top of the pink bloom underneath. Then we're going to go back to elements and we'll type white flower illustration. And this is just so we can add a little more detail that we'll only be able to see once the ink effect starts to appear. So I'm going to bring in these white flowers and have them sitting so ever so slightly over the wording. I've just copied this again and flipping them horizontal and vertical so they sit in a slightly different placement to the other one. Once we have all the elements in place for this design, we're now going to bring in our video. So search videos and I'm just typing in black ink splash and there's quite a few variations here. So I'm just going to select one that I feel will suit the video and place it exactly on our template and enlarge it up to the size of the page. And then quickly duplicate and this one that we're duplicating we're going to use the background remover. Then we're going to go to position and make sure that we're placing the video background just in front of the base layer and then placing the one that we removed the background from to sit in between the two text layers. That's really important that they are sitting in the right place. Now I'm just going to speed up the videos ever so slightly so that the ink splash plays a bit faster because it was running a little slow. I'm quickly going to play this for you so you can see that the ink effect is sitting in the right layer and that we can only see the outline text above. Next we're going to place a small circle on our design and then go to animate and this time create an animation because what we want to do is have this effect of the, the ball dropping into the ink and we might need to play around with our speed here and to get it to appear just as the ink burst is starting to appear on the video. We want to make it look like this is an ink drop dropping into the splash. To select and edit the timing of the video so we are just going to move it along so it starts to appear a few seconds after the start of the video and this is just so we get the timing right for enough space for the circle to drop and then the splash starts to appear and again you may need to just tweak this and then 
we don't want the circle to stay there, we want it to disappear so that we, look, we don't have this overlap where there's a harsh outline of the circle before the burst effect from the ink splash. So this is where we need to add a second circle, line it up exactly where the first circle finishes and then animate it to fade. Again you'll see that I am tweaking the timing that these elements all appear in the timeline here so that we can get this seamless effect. And I'm going back and forth and back and forth and tweaking it until we get it right. So you see I keep playing this through and then this time I'm going to select that second circle, go back up to my animation fade and put it on exit to give it a bit of a smoother transition. Now if I just play that through for you again, you can now see how we have that drop effect. The circle then disappears and the ink splash then starts appearing through and we get that lovely effect. Here's a sneak peek of what's coming next for the 30 day animation challenge and this is going to be day 30. If you would like to catch the rest of the tutorials I have inside my 30 day animation challenge, then do check out my playlist on my channel. And if you would love to learn more about just what amazing animations you can create and say Canva, then do check out my Animation Academy. It is a full course full of 10 jam-packed tutorials and I also include the Canva templates and the Canva whiteboards with all of the workings to each of the designs. I will show you exactly how I create all of my animations from scratch inside Canva using text animation effects as well as advertising your products and services. You can really transform anything into an animation. If you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and keep a lookout for day 13 of my animation challenge.